Hi everybody. I don't think I've I've done a video on the El Chapo threats to Donald Trump. Uh, breaking video though. FBI now providing 24-hour day protection for Trump. Here's the reason why. Uh, it appears Donald Trump is, has his first competition in his campaign for Republican nomination as President of the United States. Notorious drug cartel El Chapo has reportedly put a hundred million dollar bounty on his head on the head of Trump, dead or alive. Um, I've recently seen oh, not bad. No. I've recently seen that that um, number is actually even more now. I forget the exact number because I didn't read it. But that number is way higher now. I'm probably certain it's like at 500 million. And Trump is now under 24 hours a day FBI security protection, getting his first taste of what's being like under a presidential security detail might be like. It's reported that El Chapo, who's currently on the run after another prison escape, has taken statements Trump made about Mexico and Latinos personally. Uh, I'm not even going to play this because I, I just don't want to. No matter who this is that's doing it, I just don't want to do this. Um, you know, there's nothing you and I can actually do, but this is the way the world is, you know. Um, I had... Um, I had like four or five minor threats on my comments today. Um, one guy said I was a monster, and you know you can buy morals, right? Or uh, something like that. Uh, and then, you know, they always try to caption, you know, somebody else in it. But you, you know the comments when you read them, whether or not it's something personally derogatory or, you know, this and that. You know, oh, your face is messed up, you know. Bet you got your ass beat because of this or that or... You know, you, you, you know, you know when the comments are personal, Matt. And so lately what I've been doing is I've been putting up the minor ones so you guys control the people. But after a certain point, I just hit delete and that's it. Um, major threats I report, and there hasn't been any major threats, thank goodness. Uh, there's not much I can do one way or another. Um... So, anyways, uh, one thing I do want to show you, and I don't like to play the uh, Illuminati kind of card and the bankers, and I try to keep it civil to where you and I understand the level. But there is something very important, and this plays into Obama getting his third term and doing his executive action and everything else. So let me let me try to find this real quick, and I. Should have already looked for this, but let me just show you one. So, if you have a time, I really would recommend getting these cards just to kind of update everything because it's really weird that these things are kind of following what's going on. And what I want to show you real quick is that no, I don't want to do this. Um, basically, everybody's saying that you know these cards are following the exact thing that's going on in the news and everything else, and it. I almost don't want to purchase them because I think at some point it's illegal to own. And I, besides the whole you're a kook, I want to show you what's going on, folks. Okay? Now, you can purchase these deck. There's like Each year, there's like a deck of cards like about that much. Or probably about that much that you can purchase for about 20 bucks. And I don't know how long these cards have been uh, issued or not, but let me show you something. Here's the one down here. Um... Enough is enough, and it basically says that the card looks like Trump, and it looks like he's going to be assassinated. Um, let's see if Trump to be assassinated from Disclosed.TV. I mean, let me, let me, I mean, this is right here. He looks a lot like the Illuminati card in title, Enough is Enough. And what has Trump been saying? Enough is enough. Can't get much clearer than this, folks. Um, let me show you one more thing real quick. All right, you think that's strange? All right, how about this? How about I show... No, that's not it. 
How about I show you? Come on. Load. All right, where am I at? Hang on. Oh, good. I'm not doing anything yet. Good. How about I show you as soon as it loads? Ah, they're going to start screwing me on this. No. How about I so show you the Assange one? The one of the WikiLeaks founder. Okay, here we go. Here's the one about the WikiLeaks founder that they did and stay dead. And it basically called, let's see if I can get what this says here. <laughs> Sorry. Play this card immediately after any group has been destroyed or discarded by any player. It requires an action from a magic group. Okay, so it's really weird that they have these rules and everything, but the idea that this is almost at a point where it's getting set up from the history going on. I mean, here's the one that they say is Trump. I mean, you can go back and find the ones on Afghanistan, the ones that are on Syria, and everything else. I mean, this is, this is, they're putting out some card games, folks. I always call it a chess set. It's not. It's a card game. Because they learned that the chess pieces take up too much space. So it's a card game now. You want to play 21? Okay, who are we going to do off now? And that's it.